There is no set time for babies to be on CPAP. Some of them will stay for a day or two. Others will need to stay for about a week. But they can be weaned off once they're stable. Weaning off CPAP will be a big change. So it is important this is done gradually. Babies will be ready to come off the machine if they are stable, with no signs of distress, and on the lowest settings for both pressure and oxygen. First of all, no baby should be taken off CPAP less than 24 hours after they started. Their respiratory rate must have been less than 60 breaths per minute for at least 6 hours. And they need to have had more than 90% saturation for 6 hours. They should not have had any significant signs of respiratory distress such as grunting, recessions, nasal flaring, apnea or bradycardia for at least six hours. In addition, if a baby is receiving more oxygen and pressure than the minimum settings, then this needs to be reduced gradually before taking them off CPAP. First, reduce the pressure by one centimeter every six hours until five centimeters of water is reached. Once on five centimeters, leave for another six hours before doing anything else. Once stable on five centimeters of pressure, you can now start to reduce the oxygen. Again, you can reduce it by half a liter per minute every six hours until an oxygen flow of one liter per minute is reached. Leave for another six hours and then assess the baby. If they are still stable and meet the criteria for weaning them off CPAP, then they can now be taken off the machine. They should be given two liters per minute of oxygen after removal. When taking a baby off CPAP, first get the oxygen ready. Then take out the prongs and immediately replace them with the oxygen. You can now suction the nostrils to make sure they are clear. Then the mouth. And finally, apply some saline drops. You should keep the hat clips in the CPAP cupboard and take all the tubing away for washing, but throw the hat away. Of course, once the baby has been taken off the CPAP, they should be very closely monitored. If there are still signs that their difficulties in breathing, then they can be put back onto the CPAP.